Hello everybody, this is GamePro24X, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where you can find every type of animal in Metal Gear Survive. So let's get started with the Afghanistan map. So the first location on our list is of course right by base camp. So if you come over here by the watering hole, you'll find some gerbils. Now here's the weird thing, the watering hole on my account dried up. And if it is dried up, then you won't find any goats that are right near it. But don't worry, there's still another goat spot not too far away from the base camp, and there you'll find some carcal sheep. So you can just knock them out, fall to them, and you're good. That is prob probably the best way to hunt animals is to run, punch them, and then fall to them because you still get all the materials from them, but it's just a lot quicker than just wasting a bullet or stabbing them. After that, the birds that you'll find in this area are just the common ravens, so shoot one down however you can and pick it up and you're good and of course the last animal in this area is the gray wolf so be careful because they are aggressive they will attack you and they usually travel in pairs of two or three so that's just more meat in your pocket the next area is a clear zone that's right by transporter 3 and that is not too far away from your base either so once you get here you have two types of animals here you have the griffin vulture and the gray wolf so another pretty easy tip is most of the time when you come here the vultures are perched up on the rocks there so you can easily just take one of these stones that you get every time you go back to the base and you can use that to knock out a bird so it's really simple whenever you see a bird sitting there you don't have to waste a bullet so there you go and of course these birds have their own rare and legendary materials as well which you will see in a bit and of course there are the gray wolves right there so again be careful pretty slightly dangerous area so just watch what you're doing and there we go. And the next area we have here is a clear zone right by Transporter 5. So you'll just have to run in the fog a little bit to the east side and you'll get there eventually. So something you need to know, um, zebras do not naturally spawn here. This is a side op which you just saw earlier. So whenever you see like medium sized animals side ops, uh, they consider horses and sheep medium animals, which is very strange. But yeah, that's the only reason why the zebras came here. Um, it could be a different animal, but yeah, just always keep note of that. But they don't naturally spawn here. I just want to make a quick note of that. However, what does naturally spawn here are common ravens. They're very easy to take down with the shotgun. And of course, you got your gray, your gray wolves. Yeah, normal kicking then doesn't really knock them out. Now, it will sometimes if they jump. However, normal kicking will actually knock down any of the sheep, which is very strange. And if you go all the way he over here to the far side, you will find some more carcal sheep. So, pretty easy to obtain. Uh, one really quick note, you can find some Chinese plantain here as well. So, don't forget to look around. Alright, so the next area is Transport 7, and at least this time, the transporter is inside the clear zone. So here in the base, you will find just gerbils running around, so just listen for their squeaks, and you'll be sure to find them. So there are wolves in the distance, so there's another chance for some more gray wolves. There's also some oriental storks here as well. So you can go ahead and uh, shoot them down and grab them. There's actually quite a few. I think I've only seen like three of them here at once. So yeah, there's there's a little bit of storks here, but this is like a good place to stock up on them or get their materials, whatever you need. Here's one that I found that was just perched up. So I was able to toss a rock at it and knock it out. There you go, see? 
Easy hunting. Now if you go all the way to this watering hole area, you will find one spawn of sheep. So here's another good place to get some charcoal sheep. I would say it could be the best because there's two separate spawns of them. So you know you can grab some here and then you just go up this same road and you'll find another spawn right up there. So great place for me if you're dying to look for some. And here is the second spawn of sheep. So like I said, just go up the road and you will find them just chilling there. So, yep, best place for charcoal sheep. The next area is right by Transport 9. So get there and you will find a nice little bunch of cashmere sheep. So this is where you find them. So go ahead and grab them. And if you go up this hill, you'll also find some Afghan pikas. So this is where you find those animals as well. Note, this is the only area that you can find that particular animal. And the last area of Afghanistan is Transport 10. So here you'll find some common ravens. They'll be flying around here and like in the middle of the road. So you can just gun them down or wait for them to perch up and you can toss a rock at them. So there are about two gray wolf spawns here. Now it could be more because I have fought around like nine wolves here at once. So this place can be very dangerous if you're if you don't know any better. So be wary that a lot of wolves can spawn here. So be careful. And if you go all the way to the end of this valley, you'll find some more sheep. And if you run on over to this sedan here, you'll find the long-eared hedgehogs. So that about does it for the Afghan map. Let's head right on over to the Africa map. So where you start at in Africa, which is the FOB base, there are two black oriental storks here. And they're always perched up on this broken down building. So you can easily just knock them out with a stone. Usually the other one will fly away after you kill the first one, but don't worry, it'll just it'll immediately come right back and you can hit it with the rock. Yeah, so there we go, we got the black oriental stork right there. Now I'm not I've never seen this happen before, but when I knock out this bird, his body does not fall down. Maybe it's because of the angle of where I hit him with the rock. But normally he does fall down on that pole so you can grab him. So don't make my mistake and just maybe move to a different location and hit him with a rock. But I would say 9 out of 10, he will always fall down. 
Uh, another quick note, this is another great spot to get like a bunch of like medication, like uh, serum and whatnot. So I kind of did something a little bit different on this transporter alone. Um, I immediately went after the boar sheep. But if you start over here, you'll find the boar sheep. So that is the final goat type of the game. So if you have pens and whatnot, you this is where you complete your collection. You can also find African wild dogs. And uh, when I first came here, they actually started attacking me like right out of the transporter. So be careful and get ready for a fight because they will do that sometimes. They will just be right there and they'll notice you and come right after you. Now if you come over to this wall at this angle, you'll actually be able to climb it. And up here can spawn either donkeys, zebras, or okapis. So yeah, this is not like... This is about the only spawn I've seen horses. And they will change like every time you come back. And there's the hornbill that I shot down. But uh, it landed in a spot where I can't reach it, so I said forget it. But this is where you definitely get the hornbill. And right by Transport 8, you will find two Martial Eagles and some Nubians. So sometimes the Martial Eagles will actually be perched up, but um, for some reason they just wouldn't want to go back down. So I said fuck it, I just want to kill them and be done with it. So yeah, there you go, there's the Martial Eagle, and, you know, of course, they have their own rare materials to grab as well. If you just come right down to the other half of this lake, or sorry, this river, you'll find Nubians. And there we go, we got a two-for-one deal here. And the last location is Transporter 6. Now be careful, sometimes the side strap jackal will start attacking you immediately. So yeah, be careful for that. Along with that animal, you also find the four-toed hedgehog. And the bird that you find here is the lappet faced vulture. So you just gun them down, pick them up, and there you go. That is where you find that bird. Now, there's one more type of animal that does spawn in the game. However, he only shows up during side ops. You can't just find him naturally. So you just have to wait for him to show up, or by talking to your NPCs, or your, sorry, your crew, they'll sometimes give you the side ops to go find this animal. What is this animal that you may ask? Well, of course, it is the arch nemesis of my friend, Professor Kai. very fast and very aggressive animal. However, it is pretty dumb. So if you're carrying around fences, you can easily just poke them around it. But do be careful, he can run by it, and what makes him even cheaper is that if he swipes at you, he will hit you through the fence, no matter what. So be very careful when dealing with this animal, because he can kick your ass if you're not careful. But all you have to do is just poke him with a stick or whatever until he falls over. And once he falls over, then you can successfully capture him. If you do not have the cages, you'll still just get his materials. But when you do have the cages, well, that's when you can finally bring him in. So that leaves all the normal animals in the game that you can acquire. The rest of them are considered rare animals. Um, I believe the Okapi counts as one. But the other three are the Jehudi bird, Anubis dog, and the Himalayan bear. Now, once you progress far enough, you can accept 
additional side ops from your crew and you can just keep on accepting them until you find the rare animal spawns and if they don't give you those side ops you can just go to sleep and when you come when you come back out um, they'll have new side ups for you and they can be brand new areas where the rare animal is sighted so in this location it's going to be Jehudi um, all the animals are in predetermined locations I do know the Himalayan bear spawns in teleport in transporter 10 so here we are this is the first location that we ever go to in the in the game but there it is is a legendary bird Jehudi and as a nice little nod they make a, a sound from the game zone of the enders whenever you complete it however I failed like a dumbass and well Jehudi Je fell on top of the fence and I can't reach him so that's how you fail like a boss However, when you come over here to this watering hole, every time you get a side ops here that says rare animal, it's always Anubis. But, um, like I said, just try to memorize where the rare animal sightings are, and you'll start to remember where certain animals are spawning. Jehudi and Anubis will spawn in Area 10 as well, So, but the only thing that changes is where their location is. So... Again, just try to memorize where they are, and there you go. I don't have footage of me getting the Himalayan bear, because that is kind of hard to get. But once you have the bear, um, especially if you have the cages, you can definitely now harvest that animal for its resources without ever having to go out and find him. Which brings me to my next point. So once again, once you've progressed far enough into the game, I should tell you all that you should focus on the story first. Just forget about everything else. Because this is how you get these cages and whatnot. But in this cage, I have one Anubis and one Grey Wolf. So they'll give me their meat and also their other materials as well. Weird little fact, stuff like sheep brain and all that, they don't degrade. Which is really weird. It's only the edible stuff that degrades. So in that horse ranch, I can hold four animals. And I had Okapis and donkeys. The other one had zebras and Okapis. This other goat ranch has the other two types of goats. So I have all goat types. I just need to get all canine types, which I need the bigger cages for. Because I can only build two at once. And here's the Himalayan bear. So again, I can get both his meat and his like special materials as well, along with just animal leather. And here is the normal brown bear that we caught earlier. It's just time hasn't progressed long enough for me to get any materials yet. But once you have all these cages up, you'll never have to worry about food ever again. Especially with the new tricks that I'm going to teach you guys about how to manage food and how to make even more food with what you got. But for now, this video is just only about the animals. So there you go. There's where you go and hunt. I hope you guys have an easier time surviving in the game because looking for food is going to be one of the big ones. And I've been asked many times on where to find them. So there you go. One final biggest tip I can give you is that once you have hunted that animal, and let's say you just want more food, right? All you do is go back to Virgil, save and exit, and come back, and that animal respawns. That's going to help a lot of you guys out in the early game. So I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to check out the other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Look forward to more Metal Gear Survive content. This is GamePro24X, and I will see you guys later. Tell stories about this one, boss.